How does the Australian magician's trick work? Well, it's what a magician would call a self-working trick, a computer scientist would call it an algorithm. So essentially, as long as you do the right sequence of steps, it just works, it's guaranteed to work. So how do you do that? Well, another name for the trick is the 16th card trick, and that's the first thing about it. You need to plant a card in the 16th position in the pack. So we wanted to predict the eight of hearts we yeah, have the eight of hearts here, so what we need is for a 16th card in the pack to actually be the eight of hearts, so that's what we do. So if I spread the card, as I do in the trick, hopefully you can see the 16th card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 is the eight of hearts. And actually it's more than that because if you look further, the 32nd card is also one I know, I always put the Ace of Hearts there, as we'll see, if that matters. So, I spread the cards to show that it's a normal pack of cards, and ask the volunteer to pick somewhere in the middle. But, what I obviously I don't want them to do is pick somewhere where I'll end up throwing away the Eight of Hearts. So actually I put my hands out, and just say somewhere in the middle, and they pick between where I've just pointed. And the first hand goes over the Eight of Hearts, in the 16th position, the other hand goes over the 32nd because I actually, it turns out, want the 32nd card to go as well. So they pick some card in the middle, doesn't matter which, and we throw those cards away. And the important thing now is that Eight of Hearts is still the 16th card from the top of the pack. And so when we then do the down under deal, it's guaranteed to be in the same place. And what does the down under deal do? It repeatedly takes away every second card. And it turns out if you do that over and over again, and there are less than 32 cards in the pack left, then you're guaranteed to end up with a 16th card. So what happens? So the first one goes down, and the next one under, it's all the odd cards that are disappearing. So as we keep doing that, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, down, under, down, under, down. Notice the eight of hearts is there. We're not going to throw that away, under, down, under, and we throw the other part away. And then we turn over and it turns out the eight of hearts will get left again because of its position. So we go down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down. Notice it's still there, under, and we throw those away. And we keep going and it's the one that always gets left, the 16th card. 16th card is the one we're left with. So we go down, under, down, but down, throw those away. One last time, down, under, and we're left with the 16th card, which is the Eight of Hearts, which is the one that we're going to have predicted. So as I say, this is what a magician would call a self-working trick, and all self-working tricks have this same property, that as long as you do the sequence of steps, they're guaranteed to have the right effect. And that's exactly what a computer scientist calls an algorithm. An algorithm is basically um, a set of instructions. If you follow the instructions exactly, then the right effect will happen. For a magician, it's a magical effect. For somebody writing a program, what you want is for that program to always do what it was designed to do. And then in both cases, you need an algorithm. And that basically is how the Australian magician's dream trick works. Thank you.